Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel. As you have already seen, today we are going to work this absolutely beautiful, so very textured and useful crochet spiral rope. So the main points to keep in mind is that here, I will be showing you both the ways as to how to work the spiral rope with a D-ring and also I will create a small panel of single crochets and I will show you how to create the same spiral rope without a D-ring. So you can work it with or without a D-ring with me here. Nextly, I will be showing you a picture, a diagram of the stitches as to recognize the stitches well, to learn how to recognize the stitches and to know where exactly we will be working our stitches to create the spiral. And third and most important point is that uh, I would highly recommend you to please watch the video till end because in different points of time during the tutorial, I have explicitly and in different ways explained how you can recognize the stitches from all the sides. It's very important to recognize the stitches in the spiral so as to be confidently able to produce this beautiful crochet spiral. So please do keep that in mind and watch it till end. For the friends who are joining me here for the first time, please do consider subscribing the channel that really really motivates, inspires, that keeps us connected. You get a notification each time I post on my channel and that really helps our channel grow, our community grow. So let's get ahead and work this absolutely textured, so very useful crochet rope together. You can use it in a variety of ways, be it as a bag handle as normally we do or even as a jewelry piece as well. So let's get started. Here I'll be using Hobby India Crochet Thread. This is 100% acrylic yarn and this yarn is very soft and uh, has a great texture and at the same time it's very shiny as well. And here I'll be using a double thread to crochet the spiral. So I'm ta taking two balls and I'll be running a double thread and for that I'll be using a crochet hook of 3.0 millimeters plus you will also need D-ring if you are going to work the spiral in a D-ring and a couple of stitch markers handy, a sewing needle with a big eye to sew in the loose end and a pair of scissors. So here first of all, I will be working this small section of single crochets, this small panel with you which is a prerequisite if you are working the rope without a D-ring. So, I'll just show you how to work this panel. You can increase or decrease the size of this panel according to your wish that I've already explained. So we'll first work the small panel. This is the same section that we have here created here with the D-ring and then follow the same pattern as we did with the D-ring. After working this little panel, we'll be straight away working the rope in the D-ring. So here to begin with work 7 trains. One, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now skip the very first chain and insert the hook into the second chain from hook. Draw up a loop. We have two loops on the hook. Yarn will pull through both the loops. One single crochet is worked. Insert the hook into the next chain ahead and draw up a loop. Again we have two loops on the hook. Yarn will pull through both the loops. The second single crochet is worked. Likewise work one single crochet into the next chain ahead. 3, 1 single crochet into the next chain ahead, 4, 1 single crochet into the next chain ahead, 5 and 1 single crochet into the next chain ahead, 6. So here we have worked a total of 6 single crochets. Now turn the work and we are not going to chain this time. So insert the hook into the very first stitch, drop a loop and work 1 single crochet. Work 1 single crochet into the next stitch ahead, 2. Work 1 single crochet into the next stitch ahead, 3. Work 1 single crochet into the next stitch ahead, 4. Work 1 single crochet into the next stitch ahead, 5. And here in this turning chain, insert the hook and work the 6th single crochet like this. Again, turn the work. Now, We'll work two more rounds the same way. So here into the first stitch work one single crochet and work one single crochet till the end. And here in this loop insert the hook and work the sixth single crochet. Three rows worked, turn again and again work six single crochet till the end. So 
see this kind of panel is created panel of single crochets sewing the loose end on the stitches here on the back side neatly after working four rows on the d-ring i'll be showing you how to proceed next so the procedure ahead will be same you can increase the size of this panel by adding more rows of single crochets if you wish okay so just like this you can create a small or a big panel and then after four rows that i'll be working in the d-ring follow the same pattern for the rope so this is how you have to proceed when you're working without a d-ring so here to begin with c we'll first work a slip knot this is the non-working end as i've already told i'll be running a double thread so don't get confused with this double thread this will just work like a single thread that you're using so this is the non-working end and this is the working end which is attached to the skein okay so then to work the slip knot turn this working end atop the non-working end like this so a loop is formed now with your middle finger and thumb hold this loop here like this and the rest of the thread with the rest of your two fingers as if you're going to crochet right now insert your hook through this loop and draw up the thread through this loop like this now simply tighten it up this is your slip knot worked don't tighten it too much your hook has to be free moving inside the loop now here so here i have this d-ring and uh, we'll be working around this d-ring so hold this entire thing like this and around this d-ring insert the hook pull up a loop now we have two loops on the hook yeah never pull through both the loops one single crochet is worked like this we are going to work five more single crochets again around the ring insert the hook drop a loop we have two loops on the hook yeah never pull through both the loops we have one more single crochet worked around the ring insert the hook drop a loop we have two loops on the hook yeah never pull through both the loops the third single crochet is worked likewise we are going to work three more single crochets four five and six right so we have here six single crochets worked in this d-ring now turn the work like this and into these six single crochets we are going to create six single crochets atop them so in the first stitch insert the hook drop a loop and work one single crochet into the next stitch beneath the two loops insert the hook drop a loop and work the second single crochet this is the second row of our work again into the next stitch insert the hook drop a loop work one single crochet three one single crochet into the next stitch ahead four one single crochet into the next stitch ahead five and here in this turning loop also insert the hook draw up a loop and work the sixth single crochet of this row two rows are worked and see how neat and clean our boundaries have come up we will later sew in this loose end into these stitches so it will vanish no trouble at all so we'll be doing it together after some time so two rows worked again turn the work and again we'll work same single crochet rows two more time So we have worked four rows of single crochets one top another see this is how it looks now see let's have a clear understanding of where we are going to work every single crochet has two two loops one and two this single crochet has one loop and the second loop then one loop and the second so you can see every single crochet has two loops Okay. now here we are going to work in a spiral round so what we're going to do first we'll be working in the front loops of every stitch ahead right and on this side then we'll create six single crochets then we'll flip the work and work in the back loops of every stitch ahead 
and create the six single crochets on the other side as well so as to have a total of 12 single crochets worked in a round let's see now hold the work like this and in this very first stitch in its back loop insert the hook drop a loop and work one single crochet to recognize this loop well because it gets a little tightened on the edge put a marker this is this will be our last loop to work into okay so here is the first one and when we come back this will be the last one so first single crochet done we are going to work a total of 12 single crochets into the back loop of the next single crochet work one single crochet two into the back loop of the next single crochet work one single crochet the third single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch work the next single crochet four into the back loop of the next single crochet work one single crochet five into the back loop of this last single crochet here work one single crochet six and see when we turn back this will be our first loop to work into so now turn the work and here is our first the very first loop into this loop work the first single crochet of the other side or this is the seventh single crochet in the round okay the seventh single crochet worked into the next back loop of the next single crochet work one single crochet eight then into the next loop ahead in its back loop into the next stitch work the next single crochet nine into the back loop of the next single crochet work one single crochet 10 into the back loop of the next single crochet work the next single crochet 11 and this is our first stitch so we began from here and will end the round here so into this loop here insert and work the 12th single crochet right and we're not going to join the round here with a slip stitch rather we'll be working in a spiral so this is the first round of single crochets and now see because we have worked it in a round the single crochets are showing up on their back side see the back side of the single crochets is showing up now we will understand the back side of the single crochets first where we are going to work next and then we'll work ahead now before we work the spiral rope let's first understand the stitches well see if we see a single crochet from the front side it has a loop here like this and a v kind of formation below it so this is how a single crochet looks from the front side right and when we look the back side of a single crochet it has a horizontal bar on the top and then it has kind of two legs on the bottom a horizontal bar and then there is a left leg and here is the right leg again this is the back side of the single crochet this is how it looks on the back side there are horizontal bars and then here is a left leg and here is a right leg and we are here concerned only with the right leg because this spiral rope will be worked into the right leg of the single crochets right so we are concerned with the right leg of the single crochet we need to recognize it well we need to recognize each single crochet well there is a horizontal bar on the top then there's a left leg and a right leg again there is a horizontal bar on the on the top of the stitch then there's a left leg and the right leg and we are only concerned with the right leg of every single crochet ahead in the right leg only we'll be working single crochets in spiral okay so in the right leg of each single crochets we are going to work single crochets to create the spiral rope okay and this is how it kind of looks the left leg is straight but the right leg gets a little twisted like this this is how it is actually in the stitch so between any two single crochets in its groove the right leg looks like a horizontal bar running between them i'll be showing you explaining that to you again during the video so don't worry it will be easily recognizable and easy to work with 
between any two single crochets the right leg of the previous one looks like a horizontal bar it kind of twists a little and so it runs like a horizontal bar between the two so between the two stitches there is a groove and there is a, is this little thread running the horizontal one that we have to find and work into okay so this one thing you have to keep in mind we have to recognize the back side of the single crochets because in the spiral we'll be working on the back side of single crochets one thing secondly between any two single crochets the right leg of the previous one will be the one in which we'll be working so in the groove between the two single crochets it runs like a horizontal bar like this and we just have to work in that horizontal bar okay so we'll be understanding this when we are working it so we'll get to know about this clearly as we begin working it so let's begin so now what we have just seen on the paper the diagram of the single crochet let's understand it here see if we look closely this is our first single crochet so this is the horizontal bar on the top then here is the left leg and here is the right leg on the right side always will be the right leg so recognize the horizontal bar to recognize the stitch then see there is the left leg and this is the right leg between any two single crochets in its groove you find the right leg of the previous one okay again this is the next stitch recognize it with the horizontal bar on the top now here is the left leg and this is the right leg that gets a little twisted like l and in the groove between these two single crochets it runs like a horizontal bar like this again between these two this is the right leg of this one you can find it here like this here it is right again here is the next single crochet recognize it with this horizontal bar then here's the left leg and here is the right leg okay between next two stitches you can see between these two stitches this is the left leg of this one and here is the right leg in the groove between two if you insert the hook you will grab this stitch very easily again here is the next single crochet and see this is the single crochet on the edge you can see the horizontal bar here is the left leg and the right leg kind of gets on this side because this single crochet is on the edge so this is the right leg so one single crochet will be worked here and the next one will be worked here again let's get more clear idea on this side as well now between these two single crochets see this is the right leg of this one between these two in the groove between them here is this horizontal bar running again see this is the next single crochet this is the left leg and this is the right leg of this one now here's the next single crochet see the horizontal bar running this is the left leg and this is the right leg as you can see so we are concerned with the right leg of each single crochet ahead and we'll be working into them see this is the one on the edge here is the horizontal bar if it is visible here is the left leg or obviously on the left side and this is the right leg it gets a little onto this side so this is the left leg and this is the right leg one more way to recognize here i'm just trying to explain here is uh, see i have taken a contrast color yarn and i'm going to put this yarn in the right leg of each of the single crochets on this side to give you a clear picture see this is the first single crochet here is the left leg and here is the right leg so i'll just put the yarn through this right leg if you are able to see just to make it more visible to you again here is the next single crochet with its horizontal bar here is the little left leg and here is the right leg that is a little twisted one i'll just put this thread through it you can see the right leg of two single crochets now here is the next stitch and here is the right leg see between these two in the groove between them you get this right leg right here and just 
I am just marking the right leg of single crochets on this side to give you a clear idea. Now between these two, here is the thread running in the groove between these two stitches. Just pull the thread through it to make it more visible to you. Again between these two stitches, here is the right leg. See, right in the groove between them, this is the right leg and I will just pull it through. Again, on the edge, see, it is very clearly visible on the edge as well. This is the horizontal bar, this is the left leg and here is the right leg. It gets a little on the right side obviously because it is on the edge. So, we are going to work one single crochet into each of these right legs of the single crochets in the round below. Okay, So, I will put the green thread here. I will show you how to work then on the back side we will work without marking them with this color. Okay, So now, now let us begin working. So we are here and now we begin with the first round of the spiral. So here is our first right leg as shown. Insert the hook through this right leg, drop a loop and work one single crochet lightly like this. Do not tighten the stitches. Okay, Again, through this next right leg, insert the hook like this and pull up loop and work one single crochet like this. Again, through the next right leg, insert the hook drop a loop and work one single crochet like this. Again, to the next right leg, insert the hook, drop a loop and work one single crochet here. Again, to the next right leg, insert the hook, drop a loop, work one single crochet. Again, here is the next one. Through this right leg, insert the hook, drop a loop and work one single crochet lightly. See, we have here single crochets worked. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 single crochets worked. Now moving on to this side, we are not marking this time. We will recognize it on our own. So, here is the first single crochet. See, this horizontal bar is there. Here is the left leg and here between these two, if you insert the hook like this, you will get this right leg and just work one single crochet into it. Now, we will work from the upside. You can recognize it. Between these two, we have to work. So, between these two, in this groove, you insert the hook. Keep the hook on the outer side only, okay? Don't have to dig deep. It's outside only. So insert the hook. And here it is. Work one single crochet. Again, between these two single crochets, insert the hook in its groove. And this is the right leg. I'll show you after we work it. Between these two stitches, insert the hook and work one single crochet. Again, from this side if we see between these two single crochets, between these two, here is the groove and here is the right leg that kind of runs like a horizontal bar. Work one single crochet there. Now, between these two here, this is the right leg. This is one single crochet, this is the next single crochet and here is the right leg. If you see from here between these two, this is the right leg. Just work one single crochet into it. Okay, see? Now, here's the next single crochet and here's the next one. Between these two, now we're not putting the marker because we're just going to work in spirals. So, between the next two, find the right leg. This is one single crochet, it has a left leg and a right leg. Insert the hook in the right leg and just work one single crochet. Okay. Now I'll just remove this thread. And now 
between these two stitches here is the right leg just work one single crochet from the top if we see between these two stitches insert the hook in this groove and you grab the right leg work one single crochet now between the next two stitches in its groove insert the hook and you'll get the right leg work one single crochet there now between the next two stitches in its groove insert the hook just keep the hook on the outer surface only don't dig deep and then between the next two single crochets here is the here is the next right leg so you can work either ways now between this single crochet and this single crochet we have a right leg here work one single crochet then between the next two stitches just poke it here on the outer side in the groove and you'll get to work one single crochet there now between the next two stitches in its groove here inside the hook see this is the right leg of this previous one work one single crochet there see this texture is coming up beautifully on all the sides and we are working it so beautifully again let's do it from this side here are the two single crochets and this is the left leg of this one and this is the right leg so just put the hook there and work one single crochet again between these two here's the groove and here is your right leg just work one single crochet here now between the next two stitches insert the hook through the groove but keep it on the outer edge only keep the hook on the outer edge don't poke it too deep and work one single crochet if you poke your hook deep it will get into the wrong stitch and the texture will not come up the spiral will not be worked okay so then here are two stitches ahead between these two single crochets see in its groove this is the right leg of the previous one just work one single crochet loosely then between the next two stitches in the groove insert the hook like this drop a loop work one single crochet between the next two stitches in the groove insert the hook from this side but keep it on the outer edge only grab the right leg and work one single crochet there like this again between the next two stitches here is the groove and insert the hook like this work one single crochet again between the next two stitches in the groove keeping it on the outer edge you grab the right leg of the previous single crochet and work one single crochet here between the next two stitches here see this is the right leg again between the next two stitches here in its groove even if you see it from this side this is the right leg okay so work one single crochet here again between the next two stitches insert the hook and work one single crochet we are working in the right leg of every stitch now from this side have a closer look one more way to recognize that you're working it well or working it right see these are the next two stitches so this is the right leg this is the horizontal bar see showing up between these two so you have to just insert the hook and if you pull it like this you can see this line forming so it will get straightened up right if you leave it it will again fall back here in the horizontal position but this is the stitch because when you stretch it you get to see this line forming so this is the place where you have to work the single crochet again from this side let's see between these two this is the horizontal thread work one single crochet this horizontal thread is the right leg of the previous one into which we have to work so between these two this is the previous one and this is its right leg the horizontal thread between the two work one single crochet again between these two single crochets this is the right leg 
or the horizontal bar into which we have to work the single crochet. Again, between the next two single crochets, see this is the horizontal bar running. Again, we'll begin working from the top. So you have to have the idea of both the ways. Now from the top you can see this horizontal bar and the next horizontal bar between them in the groove keeping the hook on the periphery inside the hook. So you'll grab the right leg and work one single crochet there. Again between the next two in its groove work one single crochet like this. Again between the next two stitches in its groove grab the right leg of this previous single crochet and work one single crochet there. Again, between the next two stitches, see, insert it from this side and then find it out. See, this is the right one. When you stretch it, this line gets all straightened up. This is the right place. Work one single crochet. Again, we'll insert from this side and then check it from this side, right? So between these two here, this is the loop. Now, see, pull it and you'll get this line forming up straight. Work one single crochet here. Again, between the next two stitches, this is the loop. See, if you stretch it, this one is coming up. This one is the right place to work the single crochet. Again, between the next two stitches, see, this is the horizontal bar. Recognize it from all the sides and you can then play with it. Right? Again, between the next two, here is the horizontal bar. Straighten it. See, this is coming up. This is the right one. Again, between the next two stitches from this side, let's work. Keep the hook on the outer periphery, insert. And drop a loop and work one single crochet. See, this is the right one. The straight line has come up. Again, between the next two stitches here, insert the hook. In the groove, into the right leg and work one single crochet. Again, between the next two stitches, insert the hook. Drop a loop and work one single crochet. Again, between the next two stitches, in its groove, insert the hook. See, when you pull it, this line is coming up straight. You can see it. This line is coming up straight. This is the right place. Work one single crochet. Again from this side we'll insert between these two here and work one single crochet. See this is the right one right. Now between these two it is groove insert the hook but keep the hook on the periphery only on the outer surface. Don't uh, poke the hook too deep or else it will end up in the wrong stitch. It, do, it has not to go very deep okay. So then work one single crochet here. Then between these two stitches in its groove, we get this right leg. Work one single crochet. Again between the next two stitches. Again between these two stitches here. And after we work a little, we'll see how the texture is coming up. Between these two stitches in its groove, grab this right leg and work one single crochet. It's a lot easier when you work it from the top and you rest assured that it is all falling well in place because you have recognized the stitch well. Now between the next two, keep it on the outer periphery only. Keep the hook on the outer periphery. Don't, don't poke the hook deep or else it will end up in the wrong stitch and you'll mess up the spiral. Then work one single crochet here. This is the right leg. Again between these two, insert the hook. In this horizontal bar, pull up a loop and work one single crochet. In this horizontal thread, sorry. Then again, between the next two, in their groove, insert the hook. See, from this side, if you stretch it, this line is coming up straight. So this is the right one. Work one single crochet here. Again, between the next two, see, this is the thread. If you stretch it, this is going to form straight. So here then work one single crochet. See how beautiful the texture has come up. Perfect on all the sides. Right? Quite easy to do it.
before we move ahead let's just sew in this loose end see here I have a needle with the big eye and I'll just thread my needle with both the loose ends as I'm using a double thread I have two loose ends and then into this very row here I'll take this thread inside it like this I have taken the thread on this side and one more time I'll take it onto the other side and that's it just cut that extra thread that is there right and it's very neatly sewn in and now continue working the spiral the same way we have done till now just keep grabbing the right loop the right leg of every single crochet head and work one single crochet into each one of them as if already explained and work the desired length of your rope once you have worked enough length once you have reached the desired length and we want to close this section now just like this and on this side i have worked this entire round of the spiral and now we are not going to work the spiral again rather turn it onto this side and see here in the very first stitch insert the hook and on this side beneath the two loops of the first stitch insert the hook drop a loop work one single crochet right to the next stitch beneath the two loops insert the hook and through the two loops of the adjust adjacent stitch on the other side insert the hook drop a loop work the second single crochet we should have a total of six single crochets here again into the next stitch beneath the two loops and in the corresponding stitch on the other end work one single crochet here right three done into the next stitch here and into the adjacent stitch on the other end work one single crochet four into the next stitch here insert the hook like this beneath both the stitches and work one single crochet and here in this last stitch around this last stitch also just work the six single crochet here so we have worked one row of single crochets here and because we are to work four rows of single crochets three rows three rows will be worked on the rope and one row will be worked on the d-ring so one already worked two more on the rope turn the work and create the row two more rows of single crochets the same way we did on this side so here we have three rows of single crochets worked now bring in the d ring and keep it here and how we are going to join through the stitch first and then around the d ring pull up a loop work one single crochet then through the next stitch and then around the d ring work the second single crochet to the third stitch and then around the ring work the third single crochet to the fourth stitch and then around the ring work the fourth single crochet to the fifth stitch and then around the ring work the fifth single crochet and through this loop the last loop and then around the ring work the sixth single crochet see we have our d ring well attached the same way we did it here we have added this d ring here and now here we'll put a knot and cut the thread tighten this knot well and secure the loose end in the stitches ahead the same way we did on this side right 
and our beautiful spiral rope gets ready and it looks so beautiful it has come up so nice i've tried to incorporate all the details that are required to work this beautiful spiral rope do take care of yourself half on learning half on crocheting do subscribe to my channel much love to you all see you next time